Welcome to Easy Ideas Channel. Learn how to start a home-based coaching business. Technology has improved many areas of professional and personal life. One home business idea that technology has expanded is coaching. No longer are you limited to having an office where you meet people in person or a phone where you might miss subtle visual cues when helping others. Video conferencing has made face-to-face -face coaching with clients all over the world possible, which may be one of the reasons the coaching profession has exploded the last few years. If you have the ability to connect with and help people, coaching might be a great home business option for you. The Pros of Coaching Anyone with people skills and the ability to help can become a coach. Although it's recommended you take some courses and get certified, the coaching profession isn't highly regulated yet, which means anyone can call themselves a coach. It's affordable to start. Odds are you already have the equipment needed to start, a computer. You can download Skype for free and buy a quality set of headphones for under $50. You should also have a website, coaching contract and perhaps homework materials, but again, those can be had for less than $100. You can feel good about helping people in the area you coach in. You can do individual or group coaching. Especially for people who can't afford one-on-one -on -one time with you, group coaching allows them a way to work with you and you to be able to help more people in less time. You can offer add-on products or services to further assist your clients. Many coaches have books and home study products. The cons of coaching. Although not requires at this time, getting certified can increase your credibility and marketability. Getting a coaching certification takes time and money. You need great people skills and patience. Just because people come to you for help, doesn't mean they'll do what you suggest. In fact, many people are fearful and resistant to change, so you need to be able to support, encourage and sometimes challenge your clients to make needed changes. You'll spend a lot of time on the phone or video conferencing. If you don't mind having many appointments a day, that won't be a problem. You need to be in top form whenever you're with clients. You might feel bad, or have a personal issue or other difficulties in your life, but when you're with a client, you need to be on no matter what. It can take a while to build a solid, stable business. How to start a coaching business from home. If you're ready to give a coaching business a go, here are tips to getting started. Decide what type of coaching you're going to do. Life and business coaching are extremely popular, but they aren't the only types of coaching you can do. You can be a weight loss, fitness or health coach, parenting or relationship coach, organizational or productivity coach, technical coach, sales coach or a career coach. Consider getting coaching training. Again, this is not required, but it can help you be a better coach, provide you with helpful tools, and earn you certification which can increase your credibility and marketability. It goes without saying that you should have knowledge and skills in the area you want to coach in. This can come from personal experience, but you might want additional training. For example, a fitness coach could benefit from having a fitness certification. Set up your business, decide your business structure, Create a business name and get a business license as required by your city or county. Write a coaching contract that outlines your services and expectations. Pull together needed equipment and materials. If you'll be doing video conferencing, download the needed software and purchase a quality headset. Some coaches record calls and give them to their clients so they can review the session. If you want to do that, you'll need to get a recorder that will record your video, audio calls. If you plan to have handouts or homework, put those together. Build a website, potential clients need a place to learn about your coaching business and there's no better place to sell your coaching and related materials than on a website. Write content that is client focused on how you can help them improve their lives. If you have testimonials, post them on your website. Create a marketing plan, figure out your best client or and where you can find him, then develop marketing strategies to lure them to your business. For example, if you're a career coach, you should develop a LinkedIn profile. 
If you're a personal training coach, you might want to have videos on YouTube that offer fitness tips or teach specific exercises. Market, 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 getting your first client will likely be the hardest. Use your personal and professional network to help. Consider offering free 15 or 30 minute coaching sessions to entice people to try you out. Be the best coach you can be, coaching isn't a business to take lightly. People are entrusting their emotional and possibility their physical well-being to you. You owe it to them to stay on top of current trends in your industry, as well as best practices for coaches. We really hope you find this article helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.